Okay, today's not uh, very audio related, but uh, some people have to do this from time to time. And what I'm going to do today is move a website from one host to another host. This host also is a WordPress website, so we also have to deal with a database. The website I'm going to be moving is dannybeisel.com. The first thing you want to do is download the current site. And here's his login for this site. And I'm going to put it into this directory here, create a directory, and call it Danny Basil. Into this directory and pick all the files and download them. This software here is called FileZilla. You can uh, Google FileZilla, and it's usually the first hit. And if you click on it, you will get uh, their website. And when you click download, it picks your operating system for what you would want to get. And it's free, runs on all platforms, and there's a picture of it. Of course, you just saw it in action. On the left is your computer, on the right is the remote computer, and you just can drag files back and forth between the two. So now we have all the files downloaded to our computer. The next thing we need to do is to, all this stuff that's here is in a database, so we're going to have to get that from the database. Now you may have uh, different ways to log in to get your database or maybe you need your host to send it to you somehow or something like that. But I'm here logged in and this is this database and you want to go to export. Um, quick custom SQL. I'm going to say go. Uh, dannybice.sql, save file, OK, and boom, it's done. It's a very small file, 694K. So now you have all the code for the website. You have the database. <clears throat> now you're going to want to check what email accounts you may have on this account and there's two here admin and postmaster which means that uh, probably none of it is used on the new one you probably just would want a postmaster the admin may be what was uh, inside wordpress i'm not sure um, so that's all we need to worry about main menu does he have any mailing lists no mailing lists forwards email and website and this goes to his email address so we might want to keep track of those email and website copy that I'm gonna paste it into a uh, another file here I have and again we checked for forwards for mailing lists any robots no robots so that's everything to do with email downloaded the code downloaded the database and we checked for email. So the next thing we need to do is to move it to the new host. I host on Bluehost now. You want to go log into your control panel. And it I'm automatically logged in because I was already logged in. And I want to go to my domain manager right here. And I'm going to add this domain to this account, which would be assign a domain. 
because I'm not doing anything with the the Nick record or anything. I'm just going to move it myself. Um, and what it wants you to do is put in the domain name, and then once you get the the domain name in there, it needs to verify that it's yours. And how it'll do that is it'll look at the name servers. So to know where you are registered, you can go to GoDaddy and use their online who is search, and we can find Danny Bicel.com, and it's going to have a capture. And you can see that uh, the domain name, who is server, is name.com. So I know I need to go to name.com. Log into my account there. And we're going to change the name servers. Right now they're pointed to ICU host. I'm going to point to the Bluehost servers. Apply changes. Successful. So now when I come over here and I use this domain, um, we put it in here. <clears throat> and it verifies it. Right as you put it in. And it's verified because the name servers are pointed to Bluehost. So further on, we pick what kind of domain it is. Because I already have a main account, this domain can be an add-on domain, and it'll point to a different subdirectory on my account, or a park domain, which will point to the uh, main primary domains directory, or unassigned, where it, it won't do anything. Um, this is going to be an add-on because it's his uh, website. So we're going to add this domain on, and with that, we get an add-on directory. And you can use an existing directory, or it'll create a new one. It nicely called it Danny Bison. So that is all we need to do, and assign this domain. Sometimes that takes a while. So now you want to go back into your control panel and create the database for this. Um, that will be under Database Tools. So MySQL Databases, I'm going to go into here and create a new database. Let's see how many characters it lets me go with Danny Beisel. So let me type in the full name there, Create Database. And it created this database. So I'm going to save the name. So now that I have the database, now I have to create a user. And we'll call this device. Uh, they will create a password for you with this password generator. It creates a hard to guess password. I suggest you copy and paste it and put it in with your other information that you're saving in a text file. And then you can say that you have copied it, this password in a safe place and used the password. Now you need to finish this step by clicking on Create User. It'll ask you if you want to. Your browser may ask you that. And it reiterates the password to you with the username. I'm going to copy the username and save that as well. Click on Go Back, and now we have to assign the user to the database. So, add Bice to database, Danny Bicel. Add. Privileges, give him all privileges, make changes. And now, Bice was added to Danny Bicel. So you can verify this by looking in your list and seeing the database, the user, and of course at zero we just created it. There's nothing in there. So now your database is ready. So 
we're going to want to update the code of the website. And it's under Sites, Danny. <clears throat> and we go into the WordPerfect configuration. I'm going to open this with TextMate. And in here, we're going to want to change these things to what we've saved in our other text file. So I need my DB name. My DB user. And my password. The host on Bluehost is going to be localhost. Runs on the same machine. So I save this configuration file and I can up upload this website. Now for me, all of my accounts are under my Bluehouse, Bluehost FTP. I can get to it easily enough by logging in and going to my public HTML folder. There is that Danny Bicel folder that was just created. Uh, everything that's up there, I don't want. So I can delete all this stuff. Yes. Now it's all gone and this website will not be there anymore. So now there's nothing. Now I can take... Oh, before I upload the website, I should put in the database. We go into PHP My Admin. And the username we're going to use is the one that we just got, just created. using the new password that we just created and log in I can remember this what the heck so now we have an empty database we want to import file to import I moved on to my desktop any Bicel SQL open go 52 queries so now we have all of the WordPress stuff uploaded there and we can now upload the website so we go to where we saved it on our computer we edited that file and now we can mark all of these files for upload. I'm going to unmark this Mac file and upload. Now that that's done, if we go over to the browser and reload the website, there it is. Just as it was not so long ago. And the pages work. Everything works as it should. The thing that's great about this is that when you move it, saves all the information in the database so now when you come in here and go into the admin if you have this in your browser's memory yep so now we're on the new host we'll pick update we're going to update the version of WordPress. 
we don't have to worry about much because we just backed up the database. We have to update these plugins. Back to updates. Another plugin. Back to updates. And the themes. So now all updates are complete. Everything's still working as it should. So I'm going to go into settings and see what email address he uses for this. So on your hosting account, you can go in and create new emails. For this domain, I'm going to use forwards. So I'm going to use a forward. I'm going to add a new forward. And it's called Danny Beisel. And I'm going to forward it to that address that we've had before. And add forwarder. And that's it. The website has now changed host, new database, new code. Uh, everything is all working. And uh, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, get a hold of me. See you next time. Mm -hmm.